Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in another Poodles Advent Countdown project. If you don't know what that is, it's two projects a week coming out to you back to back to back for 24, because it's an Advent Countdown, all the way through and out and into December. And I'm really excited by this project. Oh my goodness, I'm like an excited giddy kipper. Inside here are Ikea tea lights. If you haven't discovered these yet, um, go and get them. Ikea does a little bit, the, the decoration is a little bit too modern for me, but oh my goodness, they do candle fragrances so well. Almost up there with my favourite Yankee. Um, and this fragrance, oh, I wish there was smell of vision These are divine. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't necessarily say they look like cupcakes with cherries on top. Sorry, smell like. Just divine. In here, I have got the apple fragrance. Um, I'm going to slide this off. But Ikea is one of those candles that kind of most of us can get. I know we can all get Yankee as well, but look, because you slide this bit open. Oh, look, it's another no glue box. Um, and like I say, these are the apple fragrances. They've been in my drawer with some glittery ones. But yeah, eight of them. And I love it. And yeah, no glue, because this bit here is going to slide in there. I've made gosh lots of different varieties of these and I the first one I came out with was the advent countdown last year that's never going back on there again um and I've made loads and loads and loads of different versions of this and different sizes for different things I'm really excited to bring you one for eight candles because 30 in a pack and you don't need 30 you need eight right so your piece of cardstock that you need is 11 by six and a quarter inches or 28 by 16 centimeters so Yes, that means that you're going to get um, one of these from a sheet of cardstock. Should we do metric today? I never do metric. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down. Always work in imperial, but I just have fancy working in metric. Right, you need a piece of DSP for the top. So 11 by 6 and a quarter inches, 28 by 16 centimetres. Piece of DSP for the top, 3 by 3 inches, or 7.5 by 7.5 centimetres. So I might as well do all my cutting while I'm here. But I'm going to keep the trimmer out because I'm going to do metric. So that's my cutting blade. That's my scoring blade up there. So I'm going to make sure this is right out of the way. And on the long, uh, the long side, the long side, score it at three and a quarter, four and, a th four and three quarters, eight and nine and a half inches. And in metric, you're going to score it at eight... 12, 20, and 24 centimetres. Now, don't worry about writing everything down. It will all be on my blog. If you are in Europe, the metric plate actually is metric and imperial. It's metric up there and there, but here is imperial. This part is only metric, and down at the bottom, two sets of metric and one set of imperial measurements. Gotta love that really, haven't you? Short side, score it in imperial at one and a half and four and three quarter inches and in metric at four centimetres and 12 centimetres. Okay, right, I can move the trimmer out of the way. Why is the lighting gone so dark? Hmm, I'm not sure. Fold and burnish all your score lines. Okay. So what's going to happen is that's going to fold over and this bit is going to tuck up. So you've got a couple of bits that you need to get rid of. So that is where you can see I've got deep, shallow, deep, shallow, shallow. This bit, you need to cut away that square. So basically if it's a square in the corner, cut it away. That's a rectangle and that's a rectangle in that corner. This is the square, so cut that one away. Well, both of them, to be fair. Okay, so that is that little tab. So if I bring this one back in again, that's that part okay 
So that's the tab that's going to slide in there. So obviously, as you can see, I have got diagonal score lines in there. So you need a long ruler. Oh, I've got two rulers. Oh, where did I get the second one from? That one's not mine. That's my one. Metric and Imperial. <laughs> I'm a lucky girl. I've just headbutted the tripod. Okay, so again, this section here, we've got a square in the middle. We need to put a diagonal line in there and there, there and there. And the way to know which way to put your diagonal line is so that they point into the middle. Okay, I'll just get my glasses on, I think. I'm looking at the, I don't need them for the project because it's early on in the day, but I do need them for the monitor above me because it's a little bit close right now. I'm, um, I'm one of those people who I need glasses for distance and driving um, and I need glasses for close-up work, particularly when I'm tired. So that bit's fuzzy, this bit's fuzzy, but in the middle is fine. So I'm okay for watching TV um, and I am okay for driving, just not when I'm tired. I definitely need them then. Anybody else out there like me? Can't be alone in this. So these diagonal lines that I've just scored they're going to fold in so I'm just gently doing it now so you can get an idea of it before I come in and burnish them so they're all folding in okay just like that can you see that okay right so I'm just going to because you can't you're not going to be able to see me because I've got the bone folder in the way or rather the cardstock is in the way of me showing you the bone folder so I'm just reinforcing those Okay, now to decorate, so my piece of paper is going on here, it's going that way round because your box is going to go that way round, so like that, so you need to make sure that it's facing upwards, so there's my fuse, there we go, into the middle. Grab the candles. Oh, they smell, I don't know how to describe it. They do sort of smell like cherries, but winter cherries. And I don't know if there is such a thing. I might be making that up, but wintry cherries. It's not like summer berries. Um, there's the vaguest mere hint of cinnamon, and I don't like cinnamon, so um, there's not enough that puts me off. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. They are just lovely. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice. Okay, so they're all in there. That's going to fold over. Oh, I forgot to do a bit, sorry. What you need to do is fold that over like that. So you look storage, um, fold flat for storage. But this one here, so where we've got this section, you do need to come over with that and burnish got to say that because obviously you're folding cardstock twice or two layers of cardstock I should say. If you like Yankee candles, Yankee candles are deeper than these, you can fit Yankee candles in here. I designed it so you could do both. And that is just going to slide in snug as a Christmas bug. Right, do I want garden green? Or do I want the white with silver? I want the white with silver. Definitely want the white with silver. That's so pretty. Okay. Okay, who's placing bets on whether I can tie this bow the right way up? I'm not placing a bet on me. Oh, only slightly sideways. Yes, if you bet, if you placed a bet that I could do that, you were a winner. Gosh, that surprised me. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't cut it though. Apparently tying bows and cutting is more than I can do today. Right, I have my marker pens because if you saw, or let me close this up, 
on my first one, my beautiful stamping from the Merry Little Labels, I coloured it all separately. So if you haven't seen me do this before, that's why our markers are amazing. So grab a block and all of our markers have got two ends to them. They've got a fat end, a brush end marked with a thick bit and then a thin part there which is a pen type end. And what you do is you simply brush sideways onto your stamp. You don't go down like that, you go sideways and you pick out the bits you want. So I want all of those stars, you can possibly see it on there. I want the stars and let it snow in the blue. Now I did, I want to say I did soft sky on that one, I don't remember, but I'm going to go with, um, I don't want to go with Marina Mist. I'm going to go with Pool Party, I think, which is this one. Oh, decisions, decisions. And I'm just literally picking over the stars. Or are they snowflakes? Are they stars or snowflakes? Oh, that's a question to debate. I'm going to say stars. That was my first instinct. Make sure you're not brushing onto other bits of the rubber that you're going to be colouring because you'll end up with a, a, a coloured mucky mess. And I am tilting this in the light to make sure that I'm colouring everything. So I'm just flicking it backwards and forwards so I'm catching the light. There you go, you can see that. So you can see that the lettuce snow is covered, coloured even. I'm going to come in with my chocolate chip to get that cute little stag. Or do, actually, I think that's a doe down there. Be very careful when, because this does join into the trees, which I want as green. Um, so be very careful right at the bottom. And don't worry about it drying because you come along and huff on it. And then again, very gently coming all around the edges of the frame. Being careful not to knock on any other raised bits of the stamp. And then colouring the trees. Slowly, slowly past this dear's feet. Oh, such concentration, I've gone silent. And that's all done. So you could wander away and come back and it would be dry, but all you do is you breathe on it, you huff and you get the moisture from your breath. I don't need to make the sound, so you just have to believe me that I'm breathing on it. And it just re-moistens everything and makes it all wet again, basically. And then stamp it on your piece of Whisper White. Magic! All the separate parts are coloured in. And now I need my everyday label punch. I think this might be my new best friend. And punch it around. And I love the fact that these two are on a bundle. Love it! Happy days! And then dimensionals. Oh, new pack. Onto there, under there. Cute, cute, cute. And you can make a whole batch of these and easily store them. What do you think? I hope you like it. I'm going to have to get that ribbon back on for the photographs. I hope you like it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.